Welcome to Lesson 5-5. I can convert customary units of weight and liquid volume. Mark had three quarts of milk. How many pints of milk did Mark have? I know Mark had three quarts. I'm trying to find out how many pints that is. I know there are two pints in each quart. So in the problem, I'm actually going from a bigger unit, a quart, to a smaller. So I'm going to multiply. If each quart has two pints, then I just do three times two which gives, gives me six. So Mark would have six pints of milk. One watermelon weighs 128 ounces. Another weighs 112 ounces. Which watermelon is heavier? By how many ounces? Well, if one watermelon is 128 ounces and the other one is 112 ounces, I'm comparing ounces to ounces. They're the same measurement. So then I just look at the numbers and think, okay, is 128 bigger or smaller than 100? 12. Well, I know 128 would be bigger. So that is the first part of my question. So um, the 128 ounces is bigger. But the second part says by how many ounces? So I have a second step. So I need to subtract 128 minus 112, so 16. So by how many ounces? By 16 ounces. Let's look at one more. Trevin's mom bought three gallons of fruit juice at the store. How many fluid ounces of fruit juice did Trevin's mom buy? So I know she bought three gallons. I'm trying to figure out how many fluid ounces that is. So one gallon is four quarts. One quart is two pints. One pint is two cups. One cup is eight ounces. So I've got some work to do here. So, if each cup is 8 ounces, and I have 2 cups, that's 16 ounces in a pint. Then I have 2 pints, so that would be double, which is 32 ounces. And then... So one quart is 32 ounces. Four quarts is a gallon. I'm going to multiply 32 by 4. Okay, so 128 ounces is going to be one gallon. I'm running out of room. So if we have three gallons... I'm going to multiply 128 times 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3. Yeah. So that would be 384 fluid ounces.
Today, you learned how to convert customary units of weight and liquid volume.